give thanks, give thanks and praise. Share this information, Red Beard Remedy, where a brethren challenge the authority of the so-called court, but this is a foreign area, foreign jurisdiction. This is not on the island of Zamoriata, now called Jamaica. But I share this tape, and I just feel the urge for probably break it down just at that. So let's talk. For the record, uh, my name is Ryan Thor. I'm the living man. I am not the uh, entity known as Ryan Michael Thor, just to clear that. Uh, Very first thing at the get-go. This man is creating what is known, what I would call a separation of entity. Because this man is totally aware that they have a juridic person or a fictional person or an artificial person or the birth registration entity created to interface with corporations. So this is why this man said, I am the living man, not just a man. Because when you check out the definition of man, it ever say a man is just an adult male. And what is a male? A male is a fictional creation by the corporate. It has a agency. That's what create the male. But when you step in as the living man, then can't get no jurisdiction over you. Because the living man is present at court. But the court is nullified. Why? Because there is no fiction of law. They can only operate under the guise of law, the fiction of law. So the very first, it has said, thing this brethren established is his position. And that in and of itself, Remove whatever presumed jurisdiction this incorporated crown agency may bring forward. So this is how you remove them presumption at the get-go. However, for a man such as I, I don't get this kind of opportunity. You understand? Them totally aware of me because them know all me I got to do is invoke them administrative or them public court of office. You understand? And the moment me have a court or any kind of inquisition from these foreign people, or even when our people are working there and they look like us, they are representing a foreign entity. Irrespective of, you know, who they are. Or could I am Muma from she's employed with a foreign agency? Then your Muma become a foreign agent. Well, at least in her public capacity. These are the subtle distinctions that people miss. Is like here on the island. I call them unlearned, but them act that way. You will go into one of these incorporated crown agencies, foreign vessel and dry dock, what them call a court, their inquisition. And when you get there, A man such as I, 
he asked the question, what is the nature and the cause of action? Here, the mother tell us that it's criminal cause it's traffic. Now, if it's criminal, you have at least three elements that should be at least considered. First, once it's a crime, you have to have a victim. You know what I mean? And the victim has to be that injured party. Or that defraud party. Or that party with property damage. Now, when a police constable I present a witness statement accusing any accuser of a crime, then that police constable have to demonstrate where the victim is, where the damaged or injured party is, and where the destruction of the property, malicious destruction of property is. Once this constable or this senior sergeant of police or any crown agent cannot validate these claims, then it's considered trespass. Now you're in a whole different world. Now you're engaging fraudulent activity because you're purporting fraud upon the court. You know what I mean? When he has said there is a criminal activity which constitute a crime but there is no victim so the police officer can demonstrate that he is a victim and who is bringing the claim it can't be the fictional state when the police has a witness statement so obviously not the state it is this so-called agent of the state so as man this man shall be held responsible for his actions for well, one of the rights of the accused is to face his accuser this is why noticing this whole presentment here you know here the prosecutor opened that cesspool of a mouth you do not hear any prosecutor make any kind of statement. Why? Because the prosecutor is without first hand knowledge. You understand? Now the interaction has to be with that administrative examiner. Guys in us some well, they give themselves title. But notice the interaction. And everybody see the tape already, so you have to realize that they dismiss the case, and this is, you know, according to law. But here on the island, our people are not bright enough because of the tyrannical factor that has been instituted here where all you're supposed to do is once there is authority you're supposed to respect the authority but whose authority is it you know to respect not demonic or not devil of anything that is the subtlety you know they present something in front of you and just cow you down. You better, you better, you better. No. This is why we choose to be the living man. We are not animals. Because we're cognizant of the basic fact that as man, this is just the vessel that houses the living soul that is within the vessel of the man. These people have no jurisdiction under no circumstance, no time at all. All they have is brute force. When you challenge them on their legality and expose them to law, then usually 
you know, their only comeback is brute force. So the very first thing this brethren here do is don't allow them to identify them. And this is what I do on paper. I don't have to speak in your code card. That doesn't mean nothing at all. You understand? Yeah, because anytime you write on the paper, whatever you're going to bring in at the court or saying on the court is what you already place on the paper. And because them have the notification that this is where you are and this is where you're going, they will not allow you here on the island to speak. They do all kind of shenanigans in that court as actors. This is why they not have no legitimacy. I mean, I talk about the traffic court area and it probably go all the way to the Supreme Court. Yeah. I won't reach that far, but it wouldn't be surprising for no said the very same unlawful conduct will go all the way to the Supreme Court. Because if the Supreme Court Chad, Court Administrative Division, allow the injustice and the criminality and the corruption to happen in those inferior courts, then we have to question all of these foreign constructs. All of the foreign constructs, these courts are actually foreign vessels on dry dock. They're on our land. This is why they can never claim any jurisdiction in no capacity at no time at all because they are a foreign construct in our land. And why I can say Orland? Because I am non-African. Awuak Indian is our designation. So these foreign pirates have no jurisdiction over me. So a living man. Absolutely none. They can only claim or presume or assume jurisdiction over the mere fictional entity that has been created. So for clarity, this is what is going on. When they take you into court, they are trying to access the account, the birth trust account. That is associated with that legal fiction that has been created. And they need your endorsement because they are trying to say that legal entity who is a fiction is in fact you when it's separate and distinct from you. This is why you have to create a separation of entity. Make it be known. I am the living soul, manifest as man, and not the artificial construct that you call fiction. Now, when that is established, the living man is present, then the court is nullified, because the court can only operate on a lie. Can operate on truth, it can only operate with fiction of law, color of law. So if you are identified or you identify yourself as that fictional entity, that's when they can claim jurisdiction. And jurisdiction can be challenged even after sentencing. Jurisdiction can be challenged at any point. And the moment jurisdiction is challenged, it must be proven. And it can't be proven by any one of these criminal agents from their foreign agency. Remember, here on our island, statutory instrument which was ordered by some foreign people 
which was decreed by some foreign people, created whatever kind of government structure we are looking at here. This is why I say it's a sanctioned independence, meaning you know, really independent. Them just I use word wizardry. Or if them I say order in council, who given that order? Is it God, the creator? Or is it some Sadamite fellow? Whether it's a female or a male, which is working on the ass of the adversary of the most high creator. This is why the earth is out of words. This is why it seems like we're not have truth. Very first thing, who are you? I am that living soul manifest as man. And my name, the script, in the upper and lower case, not all capitals. This is how them, you would say, usurp or steal your identity. You have the fictional entity created by the foreign construct. We usurp your divine entity, which is a living man. So don't be fooled out there, people. Truly. Um, I am here uh, on special appearance um, under threat, duress, and coercion to challenge. Under threat, duress, and coercion. Remember, when they kidnap you illegally and unlawfully, in order for you to at least get to your place of safety, they'll issue you this foreign oppressors. They will issue you a recognizance bond, your own recognizance bond, which is an access device, device. To gain access to your birth trust account and they give you a surety this is a natural occurrence where you have a surety which is a birth bond which is insurance while the true and living man is functioning and the legal entity is operating as transmitting utility out there in the public. So at no time you should be able to touch the true and living man. At no time you can gain jurisdiction as if you are purporting that there is a crime. The very first thing, there has to be an injured party who is considered a victim. And I'm quite sure now, one of these police officers out of the tree, salute Constable Porter. Um, now, I'll get you involved in this guy. You're an upstanding man. Constable Andel Morgan, volunteer. To play the role of, you'd say, the agitator. Because he cannot be a victim. I've not done him any wrong, nor have I done his senior sergeant of police A, and this enough the Greater Portmore Police Station. This guy should be retired, and he's giving trouble out there, and then, like a coward, he went and hide. And then the very same so-called traffic court system are culpable. The police service commission are culpable. They are all aware of the fraudulent, the unlawful, and the illegal conduct of their agents. They are all a part of it. They are all benefiting from it. The very so-called judge who are supposed to be learned, they know the distinction. They know the difference. They know a crime. In order to constitute a crime, there must be a victim. You can't say the state. 
or the government of Jamaica who is non-existent, artificial construct, is the victim. This is where fraud is being perpetuated. But the common people are totally asleep. This is why I say, come traffic court clowns, I'm ready for your trial. As I know, your untidy prosecutor will not be able to speak. Now the victim of whatever crime will have to come and demonstrate, validate that they are an injured party, which is an impossibility. But the only injured party is the accused. That's the only injured party. The accused. I'm the one who is suffering loss. I'm, I don't have my property. And when I went to the very first inquisition, this dumb so-called judge, this ugly woman, well, she never ugly, but that demonic woman, all of them have a touch of the demon. I placed a document on the court challenging that Notice of recognizance. Right there, them should have said, watch your dismiss this mess. We don't want no night. Don't no come again. Don't go fix it. But they didn't do that. This is why I don't have no respect for these people. Uh, when you do what is lawful, correct and right, they ignore it. So them I presume that you are slaves. And then the pop, you have some learned people. Get some people that tell me something more hot in a group, make you be prove that you're a Saharan. Listen, I don't follow all of these foreign mess, but it's all foreign fuckery. That's what it is. These things are what a foreign criminals create in order for you serve our case. All that. Bullshit information about all different kind of foreign mess that was not here in this hemisphere is created by foreigners to take away the place of the original people. So I don't follow a lot of you so-called learned people's information. I'm not impressed. Now you are glorified slave, but you're totally unaware of your position as a glorified, well-spoken, well-articulate, intelligent college or university grad slave. That's what you are. So what I'm saying, you know, you know, aware of, you know, know the distinction between what is truth and what is lies. You know, know the distinction between law and legal. You don't know the distinction between authority and tyranny. However, you people are the well-paid people out there, the very successful people out there, the rich people out there. And when you look around, you have a plethora of people who need correct information to become better. We are always a fool to what we don't know. And if we don't know, then we're ignorant, we're in darkness. Why you think, Mr. Sykes, I got stand up or sit or be wherever I'm is and show sentence on these criminals, these blackout, black man type of criminals and these criminal organizations? Is because them have a verified complaint from witnesses. You understand? So when them decide to bring a case, there will be witnesses to testify without any witnesses to testify. That's it. There is no case. You understand? So you have to have a valid witness who is a victim. You understand? Who are willing to come and testify in open court, public. Now, that way, say I go on, 
is actually a court case. Because at least it seems the accused have a right to be heard and is being heard. As you know, insane as his babbling is, at least he has a right to be heard. Now, when I am in that court and these sadamite so called judges are trying to interfere, tamper with the witness, I try to tell the witness. This is how you play and this is what you should say and this is what you should do. This is why I don't give you people no respect. Because I'm totally aware of your dishonor. But the very first thing when me put on your court, you know, I place a document acknowledging and accepting your public court and ban on the penalty of perjury. And that goes for all public servants. Well, the alone is supposed to be under the Jamaica constitutional order. And that order set guidelines, it set rules, not for me, Freeman. Those rules and regulations are for you people. It can't apply to the Freeman. And it will never apply to this Freeman. Because I can identify that your foreign construct is just that foreign to us. And we now participate in a foreign fraudulent activities. This is why people get carried away <coughs> by the word wizardry and the deception. You people are criminal in our conduct, but because the people come on for you, you people are criminalizing, cannot express it. Well, I don't have a problem doing my very best to condemn you demonic people out here while you choose to exercise a free will. To be a demonic group or class of people. So, uh, subject matter jurisdiction and also personal jurisdiction as well. Subject matter jurisdiction is when them are presumed that them control the territory. But the moment them have a statutory instrument in place deriving from a foreign location, then that in and of itself has a there is no such thing. And when the agency that is in place is actually a corporation listed as debtor incorporated with a DUNS number, then again, there can be no jurisdiction claim here from this foreign country. And where the personal jurisdiction is concerned, again, not over the living man. You can only make some kind of claim to that bird surf ticket piece of paper. And even then, your name is not on that thing. So you still can't get my claim. You have to, you know, do your duty as public trustee. As public trustee. And when we are say, watch out. We acknowledge and accept this, you know what I mean? Settle and discharge all of this and remove this or bring a proof, bring a verified claim. Yeah. Where is a particular? Bring a statement of claim. Don't just promote a witness statement where you make accusation where you cannot verify or validate. You can't tell a man say I'm a criminal and you're going to charge him for a crime when there is no victim of such crime. This is why one thing is nullified. We have too much information. And by we are share this information, we're going to tear down that house. Only because you have righteous man inside the house when righteous man not for them nowhere near that they all polluted synagogue of Satan. Now, any congregation you people create. It represents a lie. No truth is there. 
And this is why me encourage my people to so leave criminality for the moment you know, engage in a criminality. These demonic bastards have absolutely no control or authority over you. So this is why then induce you by fraud to engage and participate in criminal conduct. You get me? By participating with that fictional entity as if it is you, we choose to rebut that. Two separate and distinct entities is here. One represent the surety as data, which is the fiction, the juridic person. And the other is a true and living man, manifest. Now, the dilemma is this. You can't charge both persons. You have to pay attention now to that fiction that you have created. That debtor. This is why I now say, get out the way of righteous people. Yeah, man, I want to choose not to then with us, you know, sending our invoice and um, giving our chance to, you know, compensate with the problem on the create. So people are fair, you know. Just reach a point for look upon these foreign people and just tell them for F off. And if some other, if our people are chosen for work for the foreign people and I come bring the mess, it's give them the same thing, F off. Yeah, man. You're an illegitimate body politic. Yeah, man. And the source of a body politic is demonic. It is anti people, just like the fallen angels. They are anti the most high people. And this is what we are faced today. What is truthful opposed to the falsehood that's of you, lies. These people, like this Hungaro court setting, this is why this brethren get the opportunity to present himself. Now, if you're being accused, it's supposed to can speak. You understand? A sodomite man or woman acting in the capacity as judge should interrupt you or tell you say so you're supposed to plead guilty. How the mess does that work? This is why I give on a no respect. Yeah, you people has always been trash here on our island. Who know we're supposed to know better? No, no know better, but we're not trash. Just like most of the attorneys, trash. Because we're not work for a foreign government, a foreign power, a foreign force. Enslave the righteous people, the good people, and spoil the good people. That's basically what it is. Criminalize the good people. So now, this is society is in decay. No surprise. Who are the people leading these societies? Yeah, they are demonic. Yeah, man, filthy, filthy. And that stench, you can detect a mile away. Demonic people. So there is no good to be had. There is no truth to be had. Until you manifest your good or you manifest yours. So all the charade out there. This is why. You know, we say it's a lawless society. It's always been that way. It was created that way. It's just that our people was never given full disclosure or were we, you know what I mean, conditioned properly. You 
go into the university, you come out with all kind of distinction and you tell yourself, say, you're bright, you get big job in these companies, but ask yourself, really? Who is a benefit? Not you, not your family member, not your people. Your employment are benefiting foreigners. Your employment is benefiting the foreigners. Only true when I really were taught properly how to engage in good fit arrangement or agreement or how to engage in any kind of contract. We were ordered to subject ourselves to the will of some foreign force, demonic force. And the document is out there as evidence. So when you say these kind of traffic court or jurisdictional challenge, it's much more than, oh, it's the right to travel. It's way much more than that. In fact, it's never just about the right to travel. It's actually the right to be free, the right to be left alone, the right to say, F off. To the employees of these foreign demonic people, I've always said this, it's amazing when I look on the mainland and you have so much people so they might teach all kind of things. You have also a lot of clowns saying they're writing books about freedom. And every time I look out there on the mainland, I see this big elephant known as the Congress, this big foreign Congress that dominate that area. Yet, these want to be scholars that are seeking attention to talk about them again. Remedy. The only remedy you silly people can issue is to remove that foreign congress from our land. That's the only remedy. Anything and everything else is waste of time. Now, the mess you can have this demonic construct that's issuing out all kind of you know, say, rules and regulations across not just the Americas, but the earth. And you people are afraid to address it. You people are afraid to exterminate it, to extricate it. Yeah, if people are afraid to terminate this, Peace system. You're afraid to even talk about it. You have a bunch of foreign people migrate from all different areas of the earth to this location and then tell our people that we are the foreigners here. And our people believe it. Our people rather fight each other than face the demon that Congress that is right there with his foot on their necks. You won't face the big foreign nasty Congress, but they can point fingers and willing to bicker against each other. This did never impress me. When I see some of these mainlanders acting like they are so brilliant, they are so sharp-minded, they know so much thing, yet they can't sit there and sleep, man. They can't say the demonic foreign culprit that is genociding them and their people. They can't say they totally excuse the foreign congress. This is why I'm going to really give no, 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 the illegitimacy. This is why I'm going to really, you know, it's only entertainment when we pay attention to you. But you have never been free. You don't know what it is to be free. And you wait for a foreign congress to give on a political freedom. And all now on a key and demonstrate, say, uh, hey, we are free. It's crazy. It's crazy. Even this case, this is not a, you know, say, one of our, original people that is in court. 
No. This is not what I'm called so called black man. The two American. No. This is a foreigner in the foreign court. And these are the people it has a we learn from. That this kind of craziness originate on the other side of the hemisphere. We never have all of this craziness. They brought it here and imposed it upon our people. This is why we have a governor general's office, military, making you prisoners of war. However, unbeknown, it, unknown it is, unbeknownst to you people. The clueless, this is why I'm run around talking about politics. I'll say, whose politics is it? Because you get a handout and some benefits. What about the people? This is what the devil usually do and buy out a handful and allow the majority to fall away. Because a handful when buy out and put the majority to sleep. This is why we have famous cultural leaders now who are millionaires. All of these entertainers don't take them lightly. This is why they go so hard for the contracts. This is why they sell their very own souls, including their mothers. There are some rich people, man, because you don't know Satan or the God of this earth. And Satan govern Juno Monica. So the moment you go in bed with Satan, then you have the appearance of a luxurious lifestyle. And when I say this for certain people and will live up full and work hard, do not have that. They do. But majority I always say out there. Ask any entertainer if it can be successful without a foreign contract, without a demonic contract. Offer him all kind of material things, big car, big house, big, and then take their souls. Ask any entertainer. And a true entertainer will tell you why they are entertainers is to gain popularity, success, and money. And these are the things Lucifer desires. This is why he go up against the most likely. So when you see all of them court activity, I just know say all of them things you have just you have to get to the root of it. You understand? And a lot of people. You know, stay a prison because they know too much. A lot of people get killed because they know too much. And then you have a lot of mediocrity. So because, you know, soft men. You know them 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 soft men them. They do nothing at all more than write on paper. They do nothing, absolutely nothing. They make no nothing. You must write on paper and tell us, hey, there are all of these things. And why do they get away with it? Because they are agents of the state. They are what? Agents working with the foreign state to sell you out. This is why we are in this state of condition. Or you think of police? can carry a criminal to court and get conviction. The mafia have information. You have to have information. The mafia have somebody where I bring the claim as witness to come testify. Else the state not get nowhere. Why you think when the so-called politician then commit crime, it goes unpunished? Why you think that? No, nobody know that if I bring my claim against these people. Where are the witnesses? You understand? They all disappear. So it's no different with a common man. 
Now you can't wait in a traffic court and present your witness. There is no witness that can validate any kind of injury, damage, or, the, or, or wrong. Then case dismissed and you compensate the accused for all the problem you put him through. And that's it. It's done. But a demonic system as such, you have to literally tear it down. Yeah, man. You have to expose it and expose the criminals that are operating within the legal system. A bunch of criminals. Man. And these criminals are what we call sophisticated criminals. When you have criminals lock up in a prison for 10 years, 20 years, and them have proper business outside, them have a YouTube platform and channel established outside while they are locked up. It's a show the sophistication of these people. And I'm quite sure they're getting a lot of help. Uh, you can't lock up in a nowhere at all and do anything at all without outside help. Hence, it's a whole corrupt regime, a whole corrupt system. Demonic. Demonic. Yeah, man. So, you know, when this brethren are performed, Sometimes it's just a show. Uh, you as the man with more superior knowledge, them are going to try to cover you up. Uh, the very first thing I know fear fuck, when you are going to them court, all you need to do is get a document, date, stamp, as proof that you effect court. You open your court. You have a document out there. We don't have to ask them for the money or talk to them. So them can't hear you if you're the living man. So like all me, them know where I'm coming from. So them know them don't have nothing. So them going to say, oh, we dismiss it and try to wear me down. But we don't have them kind of power. Devil, we as a people rebuke you in all of your form, in all your capacity. Divination, you lying spirit. You are now discharged. Your credentials are now cancelled. Your legal access is now null. Void. By this sovereign man, this Nestorian king, by the power of Mosai King, be thou bound and removed. Yeah, man. Vamos, people, with us a past show. As usual, let's bring our perspective, our point of view in our way. We don't worry about the rest. We could care less. Yeah, man. You know, say the thing them what we do just a little bit different from what them are doing out there. Yeah. So again, we have to make truth rain. Man, I forgot through this old people. I'm sure it on me. And the basic gist is what me I say. Is that, you know, there is no law. Where these people is, it's the only color of law. Yes, yeah, so any constitutional order come from Buckingham Palace not apply to us. It cannot. It can apply to the people who choose, but it not apply to me. Not subject my, myself to the will of no foreign sodomite. In no capacity, in no amount of money. Free man here. And that's it. Anyway, leave it right there for now. Touch, touch it up again the next time. Salute. Free people. Yeah, man. Salute.